Welcome to Code with Kurt, where you can catch the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about the query formula used in Google Sheets. But with this, I used some Google Apps Script to create a report builder to where you can select what report you want. Say I want to see all the records, and it'll display all the records from my data sheet here. So here's my data, and I can get summarize reports by just selecting what I want to see and I built these selections and I'll show you how I did that but if I want to see height greater than 50 or weight greater than 200 I click that it will condense my data down and where I'm pulling this drop down is from over here is where I got the name of my reports and my select statements of which I'm pulling from and I'm using Google Apps Script to kind of build the formula and I'm placing that in my sheet right at A3 here to display the data right here. So if you're not familiar with the query formula statement here, there's functionality here that shows you how you set it up. I mean, it's just an equal query. You set the range of where, what data you're looking at, which is my data sheet in this case, and then you add your select statement behind it. If you're not familiar with the SQL language, it's a pretty common language used in databases. And it's it's something to Google up and learn. It, it's used a lot. And this is a neat way that Google Sheets provides this to be able to use the select statement. I'll go in depth how I uh, put this together, like a step-by-step -step process. Let's get started. Here I'm on a new Google Sheet. I called it Query Report. That's the name of my sheet. And my sheet name is data down here. And all I have is a table of data. No formulas, just data here. And you could put any data you want here. Just remember to put like a header row here for one and describe your columns. Other than that, this is what I have. I'm going to add two sheets. First one I'm going to recall is report. And then next one I'm going to call is report list. So I got my sheet names complete. I'm going to go here on report list, which I'm tagged on here. I'm going to create my name. I'm going to create my header record here. I'm just going to do name and my SQL. I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to make these a little bigger. There we go. I'm going to give this, a, I'm going to start out with a, a couple SQL statements here. Kind of get this thing going. First one I'm going to do is all. And for this, I'm going to do select star. And that's all I'm going to do. Select star is I'm going to select every column in my data table. I want to see all the data. I'm not going to put a where clause here. So my data has four columns. I'm going to see type, color, height, weight, and all the rows with that. Uh, the next one I'm going to put is, I just want to see the color red. So I want to see all my columns with the color red. All red. I want to do a select star, which is all my, all my columns. And then I want to see column B equal red. So there we go. I got my second SQL statement set. So I'm just going to do two here. The next screen, I'm going to go over to report. I'm going to do a validation list here. I'm going to merge these three together here. I'm going to hit this merge button here, merge cells. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to data, data validation. I'm going to select here. I'm going to go list from range right on the cell I'm at. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go around report list and I'm going to highlight just these two and I'm going to add some to this. Again, I'm starting at A2 because that's the first one I want listed, first row I want listed. And I'm just going to go 100 just in case you have 100 reports. I'm going to go down 100. So as you're filling it out, they'll populate into this list. So I completed that. Go to order report 
and now I have my drop down. So now I got my report sheet set, I got this one set, and my data is still here. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google Apps Script. I'm going to go Script Editor. I'm going to go Query Report. I'm going to call it Query Report. It's my project name. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, I'm going to copy in my two functions I use with this. The first one's going to be an on edit function, and the next one's going to just a simple function that converts a number into a column letter. And I'll just kind of show you how that works. But let me go ahead and copy it. Okay, so I have it copied. I'm going to hit save. So I'm doing the on edit here, and if you catch my tag above, I can show you a simple way of how this works. I'm not going to go in too big of detail, but what this does is it looks throughout all your sheets and see if something has changed. And if something has changed, this on edit fires. And with this E, it gives you some information back from which you changed, what what cell you changed, and everything like that. So I can get the range in which you change. I can get the spreadsheet down to the sheet name that was changed, the column that was changed, the row that was changed, and actually the value that it was changed to. So I'm going to use all this information to figure out where I'm looking for this change. And specifically I'm looking for a change over here on report. I'm looking at for right here this A1 column. I'm looking for a change. So when you select something here, it's going to fire off this function. And I'm only going to do something if the if that change is report and I got a 1-1, one, one, which is A1 on this, this right here. So I got the big if statement. And then I'm going to do all this down here. So what am I doing inside here? So what I'm doing is I'm getting my Active Sheets object, getting my declaring my data sheet, my report sheet, and report list sheet. All three of my sheets I'm declaring, getting the object of those, I'm listing as that. Next, I'm pulling my SQL statement. So I'm going to my report list sheet. I'm grabbing the last row there, and I'm going to start cutting through the list, starting at row two which is the first data row I got. So from what I got selected over here, whatever I choose here on my drop down, say I select all, then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look down through A2, A3 until I find it. And if I find it, then I'm going to go and grab the value of B, whatever the B value is. So that's what this is doing. I'm starting at row two. I'm going to the last row that is populated. That's this get last row. That's getting you the last row in the sheet that's populated. And then I'm stepping through. And then if this report value, which is the value that it was changed to, coming back from my on edit function, if it's equal to that, then which is the A column, I'm grabbing the B column, getting the value of that. And I'm setting it to my SQL statement variable. So now I got the SQL statement. The next, I want to set my data range. And this is where I'm outlining my data table here. I'm finding how many columns wide is it and how many rows deep is it. Depending on how much you put, I can add columns here. But this program is going to find out how wide it is by measuring the header the header row, and then it's going to find out how many rows is by going all the way down to see which last row is populated. So that's the next thing I'm doing. So the first thing I'm doing is getting the last column of the data sheet. So I'm declaring my last column as 1. Now I'm going starting at row 1, which is my header, and my last column, which is column 1. Well, is that blank? If that's false, which will be false, the first one is, it'll count over again, count, go to two, and go through here, until we actually find one that is true, and then we're going to get out of this while loop, and then we have our last column declared. So again, it's going like this, one, two, three, four, and then it finds that, it kicks out. So now i got four as my last column. Now we're going to get the last row, which is right here. 
again with this get last row statement on my data sheet I got the last row I'm gonna go back up here so I got my last row here I'm getting a number which is in our case 4 and I'm running it through a function down below here called column return letter so I want the letter of that column so since I got a 4 here I want the letter D because it that D is part of my query formula that I have to populate. I don't need the 4, but I need the D to as part of declaring that statement. So I'm running it through this function. So I'm passing a 4 through here. You know, it's checking if the 4 is greater than 0. It's doing a remainder here of 26. And 26 is representing the letters. So again, 4 minus 3 is 3, the remainder of that is 3, 3 plus 65, 65 is the letter A, and this this is a standard JavaScript function that converts the number into the, I think the UTF-16 letter in that order, so 65 starts at A, 66 starts at B, 66, or 67 starts at C, so then it gets finds my letter at D here and then it runs back through here again if your number was greater than 26 well then it has to pull the next letter so you get like a a a b a c so it could put the letters together so it could run through here twice but in our case it's going to go through here once since we have just less than 26 we're a single we're a number of column that's just a single letter so again this will return the letter d through this function. So we get the D back coming from this last column letter. And then from there, I'm setting my table range, which again, I'm starting at my data sheet. I'm starting at A1, which is all the way up here, A1. I'm declaring this whole table. And then I'm getting the last column letter, which is D, and then the last row of our data, which is 11 at this point. So now we got our whole data structure tied together in this data range string. So next I'm doing my query formula here. So I'm adding my table range here and I'm adding my SQL statement here to complete this formula. And then from there I'm setting this formula in on the report sheet on 3 1 which is row 3 column 1 and I'm setting that query setting the formula into that box which is right here I'm setting it there and then my data will show in right here from my SQL statement of what I have over here so then after I set that in that'll automatically kick off that formula and my data will show up right here after I select so again let's go ahead it is saved I'm gonna go ahead and run this and we may have to do a security thing here oh there it goes it automatically popped in here is our data that popped in for all and then I could switch it to all red and there we go just pulling the red record again from our SQL statements right here so that concludes this video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below the video if you are new to this channel subscribe and also I will post the GUAP script code in the comments section below the video until next time